What's up guys? It's been a while since I've uploaded a video, um, but I've got excuses. <laughs> Recently, I had a bit of a tech issue that came up and I've lost literally everything, <laughs> everything. Um, I was working on a video at the time, so that video was recorded and it's gone. So that's bye bye. And the video that I'm currently working on has had a few delays as well, including me having to go to the hospital for a few days. So, you know, it's, it's been quite a few weeks. So today we're gonna do instead, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna complain. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a random complain video. I had surgery in the hospital, so I have a bit, a bit of a discomfort right now. So I'm just going to be uh, sitting back like this. Like like this. Like this. Can you hear me? Fuck it. We're going to use this mic for this video today. I don't know if you guys hang out on TikTok. I do, unfortunately. And recently I've been on my timeline, all of my timeline, there's been this game called The Walking Dead Destinies. I'm not new to to Walking Dead games. I've played, I've played the Telltale games. Uh, you know, there's mobile games that are out, and then, then there's Survival Instinct, but we don't talk about Survival Instincts. And what's uh, the like the selling point about this new Walking Dead game is that you get to rewrite history. Spoiler alert: Shane dies in the first season of The Walking Dead. Instead, what you can do is kill Rick and see what well, what if what if Shane was the leader. And that sounds cool and all, but you haven't seen the trailer yet. It looks like the the game was made in 2005, which makes me think in 2023, what kind of company makes a game that looks this fucking garbage? And I know what you're going to say. Gr graphics isn't everything. I know graphics isn't anything. Every, uh, I've, I've played a lot of games that are fun that aren't good graphics. Minecraft, Roblox, Unturned. I know they're all cube games, but I, I, that's all I can think about right now. I do think sometimes games with bad graphics can still have good animation and good like game functions to make the game still satisfying hopefully by the time that this is edited there'll be a nice gameplay on the screen that i can show you as an example like i said 2023 it looks like it's made for the playstation 2 what, what happened i don't have the answer to that but what i know is that this was made by a company called flux games the games behind games such as cobra kai and cobra kai 2 Remember those? And also a game, an old, old Flash game called Get Over Here. Um, no, wait, what? Oh, no, it came out in 2020. Yeah, that was three years ago. My bad. So how did a company like Flux get access to the IP of The Walking Dead to attempt such a game? That I also don't have the answer to. I wish I did. And when you go to the comments of the, the trailer, rightfully so, people are making fun of it, you know, here... Uh, can't decide between this or the Sopranos game for the PS2. I'm so excited for this. Definitely going to be the game of the year 2006. But other people are also very hopeful that this game will be not garbage. What's been weird to me is just on TikTok, everyone's so goddamn excited for it. Every time I'm on, on, on the TikTok, I just see a bunch of comments being like, this is what I've been waiting for. This is what I've been wanting to explore. And is this really what you want? I can't see a company making a game like this that has such little care into the look and into the game feel. As far as I'm aware, all they've shown is like three melee animations. But I couldn't see this game for some reason having such an extensive like branching system where you can rewrite the story. Like how extensive is this gonna be? How many possibilities were the, will there be to change everything, you know? You might be thinking to yourself, hey man, look, they're clearly a small developer company. Well, you're just being mean. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I don't know. It kind of pisses me off how much I see it all the time. And every time I have to see Rick dead on the ground and he looks so goddamn dumb and Shane in his dumbass face every single time in a dumbass voice acting. Last thing we need is for everyone to be running off in the dark. Hey, last thing we need for everyone to be running off in the dark. So I just don't know why there's so uh, what what the fuck you know what I mean? Why is there so much uh, talky talky about this? Maybe some of you haven't, haven't even heard of this fucking game. Maybe it's just my timeline on TikTok that's just filled with it. Yep, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I just wanted to complain. Uh, I, I'll have a video, an actual good video coming out soon for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this very high quality video. Bye-bye! <laughs>